So today I am going to city center and a lot of places in Sterling with my flatmates Nata Karn and also Lucia. So this video today um, that you are watching today is about a guide to live in Sterling specifically and if you want to study in the University of Sterling. So let's explore and see what's here in this beautiful city. Woo! And the weather is so nice today. today. Yes! Oh, sun. <laughs> sunny, sunny, sunny. So Nata Karn, yeah. you've been living in Sterling for like almost a year now. So what's mm -hmm. your opinion about this city? I like it. It's not like a busy town, it's not a big town. Which is why I like it, because I like quiet town. And it's also um, feels so safe. It's such a safe neighborhood in Sterling. In here, I can just like come back from work at like 11 or midnight. And Ooh, I can midnight? Still, yeah, midnight. Wow. And I can still walk home without feeling like too scared. Okay. Yeah. And people here are so nice. So friendly, yes. Yeah, they're so friendly. And because like everyone just like mind their own business. Mm. If you're like, you know, just walking alone or something like that. So I've been living here for like already one year. And more than a year, right? More than a year, yeah. yeah. So I really love Sterling because the nature's. The city is surrounded by the nature, so mm. it's so good for you, for the relaxations or like... Yeah, I quite like it so far. <laughs> For me, living in Sterling is also about appreciating how lovely the campus and the facilities are. There's a specific and frequent bus route going to the uni and it is completely contactless. As you step foot onto the campus, you'll find yourself surrounded by picturesque greenery as every pathway leads you through vibrant gardens, serene lakes and pristine lawns. As Scotland's University for Sporting Access, they take great pride in offering world-class sports and gym facilities. This is the heart of student life at the University of Stirling, which is called the Atrium, where you can delve into your studies and simply have group discussions with your course mates, complemented by a sense of community and vibrant energy. Scrap is my favorite food outlet in the campus as they have extensive array of food and drinks. Imagine waking up every day to a breathtaking view like this. If you choose to live on campus, this is the awe-inspiring sight that will greet you each morning. Trust me, it's a view like no other. You have more things to say, yes? Yes. So as you can see in Sterling, we have like a mountain surrounding Sterling. If you like hiking, especially hiking, there's a lot of like hiking routes around here. Or even like in town close to Sterling. We also have like a mountain just behind our university, which is the Damayat. Damayat Hills. Yeah, Damayat Hills, which yes. is so nice. So good. Yeah. Sterling city center is surrounded by historical buildings which now has been repurposed just like this bar which was initially an old post office building. If you want to go for shopping, Sterling also has quite an option of renowned retail shops. But because I am a food enthusiast, I am going to bring you to one of my favorite restaurants here in Sterling. So right now I'm in my favorite Indian restaurant here in Sterling. Um, and obviously it has a very good rating from every people that I know that I met here in Sterling saying yes. that um, this restaurant I have a friend in basketball, they all said this place is like the best Indian restaurant in town And they have like and a so very nice atmosphere in the yeah. shops And now we're looking at um, lunch menu Lunch menu and I'm just like googling everything because I, I'm. Um, you didn't know what it I, is. I don't have much experience with Indian food, so <laughs> we'll but see. But trust me, it is yeah, we'll so see. nice. They have all different kind of curry, such as Madras curry, Buna chicken curry. But my favorite is of course their plain naan with the chicken korma. It is so good and highly recommended. One of the places that you must go if you decided to study at the University of Stirling is of course the historical Stirling Castle at the back. Bonus point, if you decided to reside in the Sterling town itself, this is something that a lot of people doesn't know that you can go here for free 
just told the reception that you're living in Sterling or maybe just bring proof of your address, something like letters or anything, they will just let you in for free. Another thing that I love about Sterling is the fact that it is situated in the heart of Scotland and as a student this is something that I really really love. You can go easily to two main cities in Scotland which is Glasgow and Edinburgh through trains and buses. Those are the cheapest option and the best option to go from here. It's not as far as you might think. To go to Glasgow it's just 35 minutes from here to a train and to go to Edinburgh is just 45 minutes from here and it's so convenient. At the same time you get the calmness, peacefulness and anything that you can imagine living as a student in Sterling and it's the best that you can get. We are now at Commonwealth Graves War. For some people, going to grave is something that very scary, scary very uh, unusual. Here, I, I would say it is very relaxing. Very relaxing. It's just like walking in yeah, a it's park. It's kind of a park. A park, Basically. yes. It's not unusual here in Scotland, I would say. Like in Glasgow, you can found like necropolis, which yeah. is also a grave place where you can go and just relax and just have like a wee walk, you know, like how Scottish people say like a wee walk, wee you walk. know. <laughs> you can also learn a little bit about history and the sentimental value of it here. And so. it's interesting though as well. It right? is interesting, yes. <laughs> graveyard is also located next to the Church of Scotland, Church of the Holyrood, and near to the Old Town Jail, a historic prison which was a functional prison until 1935 and known for its strict regime. Now, this prison offers visitors a glimpse into the harsh conditions and practices of the past. Move on to the best cafes in Sterling. So this is also um, my favorite cafe in Sterling, where I will just go here for relax and read some books if I want to, and at the same time I can enjoy their delicious chai latte and also some cakes. I give enough information for you about Sterling and how to start your life here as a student or if, even if you're not a student, I hope it is helpful for you and I wish you all the best in your study and in everything, whatever you do. So that's all from us. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hope you enjoy and see you later. Bye-bye.